What are some mistakes to avoid when mounting a rifle scope, whether it be on a firearm, an air gun? We want to be as precise as possible when placing our shots. And mounting a scope, there is an absolute science to it. There are numerous videos online, but I wanted to go ahead and get a short video out on some basic things to avoid absolutely when mounting a scope. I have an older traditional hunting rifle here. And one thing you might notice is the scope is very far off of the barrel. So there is an exception to that because this traditional hunting rifle has see-through scope mounts where you can look through and see your iron sights. That is an exception there. But if you don't have iron sights, you want this scope as close to the barrel as possible. They have low, medium, and high mounts. So, I mean, if you have a 40 millimeter scope, usually a, a low or a, or a medium size mount will work. If you've got a, a 50 millimeter scope, you would either want to try a medium or a high mount to get this as close to the barrel as possible. Also, when you place the scope in the rings, Older scopes, they didn't have much eye relief, so you'd have to get fairly close. That's why typically older rifles and older scopes, they mounted them further back because you didn't have the eye relief. Modern scopes today have excellent eye relief, so you want this scope as far forward in these rings as possible. That's going to allow you to get down on the stock get up and get be able to rest forward and not worry about that scope hitting you and you get a better line of sight. I have an example of a properly mounted scope here on an AR platform. As you can see, the scope is very close to the barrel. I probably could have went with one level lower and got it even closer, but then I might have lost a little bit of access to the Picatinny here. But look how I got the scope mounted as far as possible in these rings as I can get. That allows me to get down, get low, get a good cheek weld, get a better line of sight. The scope is more aligned with the barrel. It's especially important with long range shooting. You wanna dot every I across every T. Now, probably the biggest mistake most people make when mounting a scope is not torquing appropriately. Also, you want to make sure you get the correct mounts, not just the height, low, medium, high, but you want to get the specific mounts and screws for your particular model of firearm. Extremely important. Outside of that, in regards to the torque specs, you want to make sure your mounts are torqued correctly to the firearm itself, but then when you put the rings together over the optic, you want to make sure those are torqued precisely as well. On a Picatinny rail, when you're mounting the actual, the actual mounts to that, you can get away with a little bit more. You can go from say 30 to 40 inch pounds there. Now, if you have a traditional rifle, you don't want to get over 30 inch pounds. 30 inch pounds is basically the highest on any traditional and I'd say 40 inch pounds going on a modern sporting rifle or shotgun on a Picatinny rail. Now on the rings themselves, some people say 18 inch pounds, but usually the, the safest rule of thumb is only 15 inch pounds on the rings themselves. So a good rule of thumb, it's 30 inch pounds on the base, connecting the mounting system to the weapon itself. And then on the rings themselves, usually it has two or four screws on the front and the back, only 15 inch pounds. Now there's a, a kit you can get. Now this right here is a little inch pound torque wrench. This is called uh, the Fat Wrench by Wheeler Engineering. And I have a, scope kit here it's got a little bit of everything it's got a lapping kit it's got flat ground screwdriver bits drill bits leveling system and so if you want to add some more small details to mounting your weapon you certainly can 
But what I have mentioned is the most important for most situations, most shooters. Now, if you're an individual that gets into super long range shooting, I'd say, I'd say four or 500 yards and further, you'll want to go even further down the rabbit hole and get into lapping and make sure, making sure everything is leveled out properly. Not just what you can see with your, with your eyes. But just wanted to get this short video out. I will put a link down below for this Wheeler Engineering scope mounting kit. It has pretty much everything you'll ever need. You might need to add some extra bits later on, but for the most part, this is everything you need. Most importantly is that torque wrench, very important, and Loctite on your screws. Bases and the rings need the Loctite as well. It adds a little bit of lubrication, but also keeps those screws secure. Make sure your screws aren't rusted. Make sure you got, you're using quality screws. And I, and I would say make sure they are star bits. Really helps with making sure nothing gets stripped out because I've seen that happen. It's not very fun. So comment down below. What do you think about this topic? Share this video. Tap the thumbs up icon. Subscribe to the channel. We do appreciate you watching. Have a great day.